Hi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot. And today I'm doing a reading for Leo. So today it's the 1st of February, 2024. Just remember this is a Leo collective reading. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But if you're watching this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching this video is when you're supposed to receive the messages. Also, Leo, my personal readings are up on my website. So if you would like a personal reading, check out the link in the description below. Messages for Leo. You have thoughts? unexpected income lovers so there's someone thinking about you someone that's wanting to come in and give you a helping hand this could be someone that you are connected with that is a statue though so this could be something from the past a connection Okay, let's grab out the tarot for you, Leo. Messages for Leo. Eight of Cups. Escapism. Something disappointed you. You got the King of Cups. Sorry, the King of Wands. Fire. I feel like that's you, Leo. You're now moving on to something that's supposed to be your thing you know this is a calculated move you've got multi-dimensional strength more leo the event horizon The Seven of Swords. The High Priestess. The Ace of Pearls. And the Five of Swords. On the back of the deck, you've got the Four of Cups and the Six of Wands. Okay. Let's get these together, Leo, and we'll get started. What's the Eight of Cups for Leo? You have the Five of Cups. Something that left you in regret, something that... I feel even though it was something that was disappointing, there's something new. This was like enlightenment. You know, you looked at this from a different point of view, this negativity. Then you've got the page of pearls. So this could have been with a younger energy. This could have been someone that had earth in their chart, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. But I feel like you're starting something new and it could be something in the material world. You know, you're taking a coin with you while you leave this disappointment in your life. Something that was not a happy ending for you. What's the King of Wands? 
So you have the Nine of Swords, the Four of Pearls. So you could be planning something now. You could be holding back from a situation which could be leaving you in your head with the Nine of Swords coming out. Yeah, there's a lot of torment. I feel holding back from something in your life. a lot of in your head movement or moment because you are holding on to something as much as it hurt you when you left it what's multi-dimensional for leo got the eight of pearls the three of pearls a lot of teamwork here something with teamwork and the king of swords could be with someone that has air in their chart there's something you've been gifted with and you're coming together with somebody like someone that could be, you know, authority figure with that King of Swords coming out. Someone that could have air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is something complex, whatever this work is that's going on in, in your energy. Because you do have multidimensional There's someone you're working on something with. A king of swords. That didn't really work, did it? Just stick my fingers in. Okay, let's see what's next. What's strength for Leo? You have death. So I think there needs to be a lot of strength in your energy, Leo, to go deep within and I feel transform yourself after this ending. The death coming out, Scorpio energy. But I feel like you do have a soul connection in your life, whether it be a child whether it be someone from a past lifetime. But you're ending something with an older energy and I feel like there's something that you're you're taking on um, now, something new. Then you've got the Ace of Cups. So this could be a new love, a new beginning with someone that could have Scorpio in their chart. As I said, this is a soulmate, whether it be a child. This is going to be successful. We've got two ti tigers there, so this could be a soulmate. As I said, this could be a twin. Blue eyes could be significant, light blue eyes. What's the event horizon? So I feel like there's some type of shadow work that's being done with you and this person. You're both learning things about yourselves. What's the event horizon? You've got the nine of pearls. So as I said, there's like, you know, you're both doing shadow work. You've got the three of cups. So this could be family. As I said, this could be someone from a past lifetime, but this is going to lead to celebration. You working on something with this person. Then you've got the Three of Swords.
So there's something to do with conflict. There could have been conflict in the past with this person. Heartbreak. But I feel you need to keep pushing forwards. There's something that I feel you are passionate about, Leo. Something in your life that you know is your path. But there's someone with you, I feel, while you move along from that heartbreak and do the work. Do the work. And I feel this person is too, this person that could be part of your soul family. What's the Seven of Swords? You've got contact. Someone's coming in to say something that could be man manipulative. We've got the Emperor. Could be an Aries. Someone that has Aries in their chart. They don't have to. This could be a father or a parent. Just remember, Tarot has no gender. Then you've got the Seven of Wands. So I feel this person is... There's someone coming in to say something. Someone that's in their ego. There's an imbalance in this connection. I feel like this could be someone from your past. It could be an older energy. does say divine masculine on there but this person i feel there's going to be some type of argument this person wants to come in and say something to you let's grab all the cards and we'll do future energy for you leo but yes, I feel like you in the current energy could be working on something with someone, whether it be a child, a family member, a loved one. Um, and I feel like there's an, un another energy that's wanting to come in and cause some type of conflict in your life, causing a bit of chaos. What's the High Priestess? Got the sun. The lovers. Making a choice. Could be making a choice with this person. This person could have Gemini in their chart. Funny to me, that looks like two different snakes because the patterns are different. Even though you can't see that snake's face. I'm guessing it's supposed to be the same snake. But it's sort of, that one reminds me of like a bandy bandy, which is Australian. Um, something that's non-venomous, but then I don't know what that is. Could be the same snake. Who knows? Could be not even from Australia. Anyways, we'll keep going. But there's a choice you're going to make and give to you're going to start something new. This could be with someone that you do have children with, someone that has Leo in their chart. But there's a celebration coming. I feel with something to do in the material world, intuitively you can feel this coming towards you, but there is going to be success. This could be with a child. You're choosing something new, I feel. You're choosing something new. Because I feel this other person may come in um, with ego. Because you did have, you know, those cards coming out before. What's the Ace of Pearls? The Two of Cups. So as I said, there's someone new that you're going to start something with, someone that's working on something with you, could be working on something with you in the material world, but it's going to bring in you know, abundance. 
you got multi-dimensional could be someone of the same sex because that is two women but there's a new opportunity coming with this person in the future i feel this person is supposed to be in your life someone that is your soulmate someone that's i feel like a twin this is a complex situation because twins are complex then you've got the world it's like a new cycle there's a new opportunity you've got the five of swords coming out now on this last card here so we'll see what this is there is you know there's an energy that is deceiving you that's around you but then there's an energy that's choosing you what's the five of swords the four of pearls so there's arguments with someone that feels chained to you no. you've got the four of wands the ten of cups and the hierophant Someone's being dishonest about something. About a three-party situation. This person could have Taurus in their chart. I feel this person is wanting, you know, commitment. We've got all this commitment for a wands. But this person could, um, you know, that shadow work was coming out before also. So this person could be in competition with you. Uh, but this is something I feel that is a higher learning for both of you. With the Four of Pearls coming out also, there is some kind of not letting go between you and this energy. But you're going to start something new, I feel, in the future with this person. A new opportunity is going to be given to you to start this with this person. Um, this person could be in the same line of work as you. You know, take what resonates. But I feel like this person's hiding something. They want it all with you. This person could be married to you, have children with you. There's a lot of that coming out. I feel this person wants it all. They want to walk through the finish line with you in the end. So on the back of the deck, you've got the Four of Cups. So what's the Four of Cups? You've got the Eight of Cups. So I feel someone wasn't looking at the cup you were giving them and i feel that's what this disappointment was they were looking at others there could be other things that were occupying them you've got judgment scorpio energy could have been in this person's chart you could have seen the truth with your third eye third eye could be significant intuition and the tower so this was something that was unexpected there could have been something that broke away. Could be with someone that has Aries in their chart. But there's a new tower. There's a new magical tower here. I see something under the water that's filled with emotion, filled with love, filled with connection, family. You know, there we go. The Six of Wands. Six of Wands is leading you into victory. What's the Six of Wands? There's people cheering you on while you go to this new tower and make that judgment call. What's the Six of Wands? The Six of Swords. So there you go. This is a new journey. You're learning the lessons going to lead to i feel some type of financial abundance in your life got the empress taurus energy and the five of pearls 
So there's things that happen in your life for a reason. With the Five of Pearls, you may not be receiving much now with this thing that you're focused on. But I feel in the future, there is going to be more. And I feel you need that confidence to push forward to make this bigger. There's something new that you're starting. It's all this new coming out. So I feel in the future, there will be someone coming towards you that's supposed to be here working on something with you. I feel in the future also, there will be some abundance but there is a soulmate that's wanting to come in. That's going to come forward, I feel, in the future. Wanting to do something with you. Could be collaborating and work with you. Could be helping you uh, move forwards in your career. A divine couple, a lover, soulmate. The two birds. is like divine love. Something that's from past lifetimes. Then you've got the four of ones, 11, 11. You're on the right track. This is a soulmate or a twin flame. As I said, I did see that coming out on the reading. Okay, so we're going to do a fortune telling card now for you, Leo. One card for Leo. Fate is against you marrying the one who dearly loves you. Okay, so there could be someone in your energy that dearly loves you, but you aren't fated to marry that person. There is somebody else. Okay, so I took them out of the pouch, but this is my new deck. It comes with this velvet pouch. I do have a bit of dust on my desk as to why there's a bit of... It magnetizes to the dust, I'm sure the velvet does. Uh, but this is my new deck. There will be a link in the description below if you would like to purchase it. I also um, am going to do your music message with this today. So this is volume two. You can add it to volume one. You can mix the cards. Give yourself an intuitive music message. Uh, check them out. They are. I got three decks, so all three are linked in the description. Okay. One card for Leo. Also, just remember my personal readings are up on my website, so check out the link in the description below. They will be sent uh, via email, so a video recording. all readings on the website so you'll be able to listen to it you know whenever you want when you're ready okay one card for leo counting stars one republic it's funny that um on the pisces reading they got that card also so listen to that song it will have messages i'm gonna leave it there leo thank you all for coming to my reading if this is your first time welcome just remember all my readings are timeless, so if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Leo. I thank you all for being here every day. Um, I love you guys, and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.